I have a confession to make. I'm a lazy photographer. I'm not excited to get up three hours before sunrise or to stay up past midnight to hopefully catch a photograph of the Milky Way. But that doesn't mean that I won't do it, but I'd much rather wake up an hour before sunrise, step out of my van, and capture an amazing photograph. I'm a big fan of a bed, heat, and air conditioning. But I also love the excitement of capturing an amazing sunrise or sunset or watching the Milky Way rise into perfect position. How can I reconcile these two contradictory desires? Stay tuned and I'll explain everything. Hello and welcome to another video. I uh, decided to head out to photograph some new locations, places I haven't been in kind of the central part of Oregon. And my first stop is McDowell County Creek. Now, in all honesty, I have photographed this once before, but it's been a few years. There was a couple waterfalls here that I didn't just come away with a good shot because of the weather. It was just too sunny and the water flow wasn't that great. So we'll see what happens when I get to the first waterfall. Naturally, when I get out of the car, it's kind of sunny in spots. By the time I get to the waterfall, it starts just chucking down rain to the point of there's no way to keep the winds clean even for a second. So I'm standing under a big, a big tree, just uh, just kind of stay out of the rain a bit till because it's probably going to let up again. It's kind of on and off. As it moves. You can see there's sun. It's sun. Sun is hitting me. Let's see how long that lasts before it starts raining again. I kind of gave up on that other waterfall and I've driven to another little stop. I don't mind it being wet. I love the saturation that we get on all of the greenery. It's just so, so, so good. There's the falls, but uh, it's a lot of water, it's a lot of spray. When I come right here, maybe if I get one shot fast, it's a lot of mist. It's just a crazy amount of water. You can see that I've got a lot of movement with the wind. And I'm gonna try to fix that. But I wanna be able to freeze that motion so I can put it together and have a nice static, the, the foliage around the waterfall to be static. So, when I have to do it probably about a 40th or 50th of a second, put these two together. If the shot comes out, I'll show it to you right now. If I don't drown first. <laughs> Well, as soon as I finished the last shot, it just started raining really, really hard again. And it was sunny. I actually had mist bows going on when I was down there. But uh, I think I'm gonna take a break and stay in the van for just a little bit. Now that is really pretty. As a lazy photographer, I take advantage of anything that I can find which requires the least amount of, I don't want to say effort, but I'll say effort. Driving along the road and a little pull off and this magnificent, really full stream is just cascading down through these moss covered trees. And just a moment ago, the sun was out enough that it was kind of side lighting some of the trees, giving it a really nice amount of depth. And it was really, really better than even, better than now. So it's real simple composition. I've got some nice framing in the bottom right. And then I've got this really awesome tree over here on the left hand side, which is right here on the right hand side. And then all of the trees just kind of like leaning into the stream. It's gonna make a really pretty photograph. 
watch but wait a minute the sun's about to pop back out and when it does it's going to side light it again i'm going to get a couple more shots and if it comes out i'll show it to you right now I'm gonna take my drone out. This is it's got, got a pretty epic looking waterfall over there in that little crevice and that little canyon on the side. And then that's just pretty as well. So um, I don't think I can hike back there, but I think I can get the drone back pretty close. So let's see what we can see. Good morning. It's not quite sunrise. I've been up for about an hour, got my coffee, and I drove to uh, a bridge that I crossed when I was headed to my our camp last night. It really is pretty. Like that little bit of low hanging fog cloud right in here. And that would make a really great photo if we had some color popping up there in the sky, just like that. So this is the other side of the bridge. I don't like it as well because this big spit of this little island here in the middle just splits it down and it got a little bit of stream and a larger creek over here on the right. This little bitty one over here. Uh, and it just doesn't give you up. It, it pinches off the, the creek before we get to the to the mountains the hills back there and the clouds so not so good so one thing i want to go over real quick so i'm probably going to take a shot from the bridge here once it gets a little bit more light in the sky but uh where you how you tilt your camera where you put that horizon and the, the tilt up and down really can change your composition and it also change the look of your foreground in a big way. So if I were to go for something like this, I've got a ton of sky, very, very little water. Not much of a leading line down here and a whole bunch of sky. So as I tilt down, I'm looking at like this diagonal line over here coming in from my tree line and over here. 
So now I've got multiple leading lines and like a valley for my sky to sit in. And I like that a lot. If I go further, when I get down to this, you see how wide the creek becomes? It becomes really, really, really wide. And I don't get as much sky, but this becomes a real predominant, this, the width of this becomes, I think, too much. But if I bring it up to about right there, I think that's a good, the best uh, look that I can come away with. Again, I love having the, the, the trees come in over here on the left and right side to make a V for that sky to sit in. And I still have a good amount of leading line of the river. Take a look at that. I was slightly wrong. <laughs> That's a little bit of light. I like it. I'll take it. I will so take it. That was going to be a super easy photograph. Won't take but a minute. ISO 100. Concerned a little bit about the look in the water. Definitely want to polarize. Get that sky pretty and get the saturation where I want it. And uh, probably going to bracket the shots as well. It's really dark here. Really bright up there. So I think I got enough shots in the bag that one of these is gonna come out pretty good. And if it does, I'll show it to you right now. Nothing says lazy photographer like taking the photograph from the seat of the car <laughs> out the driver's window. So I spotted this beautiful scene. I love the fact that the trees are being lit, but uh, they've got the dark clouds on the top and you get that one big tree. It's really, really tall. It's leaning in out there. That is really, really cool. It just kind of caught my eye as I was driving by. And so I just pause, grab the shot, and if it comes out, I'll show it to you right now. Lazy photographer. I don't mean that in a bad way. Maybe a more efficient way. <laughs> Let's think of it that way. Being able to go out and get your photographs that you want in the easiest way possible. I spend a lot of time in Google Maps, street views, looking for locations, looking for trails, also subscribe to All Trails, which is, I think is really a, a great uh, app. You can get reviews on the trails. You can get a lot of photographs from people that have hiked the trails. So you get a good idea of what you're in for before you ever get there. It's really cold, it's about 33 degrees or so. So Holly Falls is kicking. And uh, hopefully you can see it on the video, but over here on the left, there's a mist bow. The sun's at just the right angle. The falls are in the shade, which is what you want, but with the mist coming off the falls and the sun at the right angle, it's producing a beautiful mist bow on the left-hand side. So I'll take two shots, 
one for the MISVO, which is going to be unpolarized, and then I'll do another one that's polarized so that I can get all that really dark, rich green and take a little bit of glare off of uh, those pine trees up in the top left that, is, that are catching a lot of direct sunlight. So if this shot comes out, and I think it will, I'm going to show it to you right now. Sometimes you can't be too lazy. It's two and a quarter miles to the blue pool. One way, so about four and a, uh, four and a half miles round trip. Let's get started. I was very conscious in selecting the day and the weather that I came to the Blue Pool. And that was I needed a clear sky day with some direct sun. Because that pool is about the color of my hat. It's an iridescent blue. It's really stunning blue. And you can see all the way to the bottom. It's crystal clear. And what I would like to do is have the sun high enough to really illuminate the water and then be able to put my drone up, I'm hoping, and get just a straight down photograph of it. So I got, oh, a long way to go. <laughs> I'll pick it up when I get there. made it and hopefully this is picking up on video it's hard to see because of the glare on the, uh, the screen here that I'm holding but man with the Sun hitting directly down on that water look how blue that is it looks like uh, it's got a gel on it it's pretty clear so I think I'm gonna try the drone I'm gonna get a reg couple of regular photos uh, as well two miles out I'm not gonna vlog or b-roll it <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> lazy photographer right so I'll show you my favorite from the blue pool right now Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any video that I release. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.